All right, <clears throat> we're back. What's new in the world of elf shelves? Let's see here. We've got the old truck. Uh-oh. What's hooked to the truck? That well, looks like... Well, that looks like a dump trailer. Well, that's right, kids. That is a dump trailer. Because so we got projects coming up. And we need to dump some material. Because I ain't going to shovel that shit by hand. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I got a dump trailer. And it's a used dump trailer. I did not buy a new one. As you'll see, bird shit. The inside has been used. I think maybe the dude hauled stuff three times in this thing, maybe. Um, yeah, bird shit. Did I negotiate the price lower because of the bird shit? Well, I'll let you take a guess. But I will tell you, this is what he hauled. You looking here? Rocks. The dude hauled rocks in a few times, chipped up the bed. That's right, I'm gonna chip the bed up myself. Plus I got free rocks. So, <clears throat> this isn't the biggest trailer in the world. It's actually pretty small. It's uh, five foot wide, 10 feet long. It's got uh, dual 3,500 pound axles, so it's a 7,000 pound trailer. I believe the trailer alone weighs just around 2,000 pounds, maybe, maybe a skosh over that. So you're looking at 5,000 pounds of carrying capacity, which the truck is rated at Payload on this truck is 50 pounds less than a ton. So it's basically a one ton truck. But you gotta shovel the shit out. So this thing here is gonna hold two and a half times the amount of my bed. And I don't have to shovel it. Let's have a little let's have a little looky here, see how this thing goes. Let's get down in here. I'll go over some of the features. So it's got built-in trickle charger battery the pump I mean, this, the zip tie hasn't been cut off the thing's still in the goddamn plastic bag let's see here what we got here up here we go kids upsy dupsy scissor lift how high this thing goes Jesus. That's a monster hydraulic. Rocks are falling out of her. Well, that's making me nervous. I'm stopping there. You get an idea of what we got going on here. I think it'll go higher too. Well, that'd dump about everything out. Now, I know I shouldn't be underneath here. I just want to check. Yeah, a little rust. A little bit of a little maintenance required, but that's you know that's why I like to buy. It. It's got a kickstand. So if you have to actually work on it, it ain't gonna absolutely kill you. I might cap that off, make a toolbox out of that. Maybe not. I believe these are gra or not gravity down, I think they're hydraulic down too. So let's take a look at this. Here we go. Down. <clears throat> Excuse me. There she's coming down. All right, so uh, let's talk about some of the stuff here. I got to work on this hitch thing. My chains are a little short. My, uh, yeah, these chains are short, but I'm cross, but I had to get home. This is hitting my spare tire, so I need to chop that down and get into that thing just to shorten my chains up or something. I don't know, I'll figure something out, but. Uh, originally, this had a, 
a two three two warranty. I think that's like two years fix your shit, three years mechanical, and two years fix your shit. But since I'm not the original owner, I don't get any of that. The title said it had been licensed for 13 months. So this thing is like a year and a month old. Like it's fucking barely been used. Um, tire some of the nubbins on them. I mean, still has a little little seams in them, little sipes. It's got ramps. These are the ramps, which is kind of cool. Uh, this particular one's got a three-way uh, gate, I guess. So one way, one way the gate works is you do this. Make sure I'm getting that filmed. This is for like dump mode. You swing these bad boys open, and then you got uh, this little contraption here. Oops, this little contraption here. That would go into that. So the doors don't swing when you dump. So that's mode one. So that's like the obvious normal way you do it. Version two would be you close this thing. Let's try. Yeah. I'm new to this. <laughs> Alright, the next one is, if you see these cotter pins here, I could pop that cotter pin, pull that bolt out, and then this thing, theoretically, pivots on this. You got a, a safety right here that would undo, and this thing would rotate down like a, uh, well, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do this one right now, but this would rotate down like a pickup truck bed. So it would just roll down. You pick up another... I believe these are 18 inch tall, so you'd have 10 foot 18, so what's that? 11 and a half feet, some shit? I don't fucking know. Just in case you wanted to haul something. And then the third way, it's also a, like a, you can like, you can drop load, so this thing here pops up, and then this gate swings, and you got these chains to adjust how much it swings up, so you can actually, like if I wanted to like lay gravel down on something, you can tip it up and just lay it out as you're driving. So it's a three-way. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, what else do you think it's got that's neat? Uh, this piece, it's welded in the center, and it's a one-piece steel. This whole thing is continuous. Bent box for stability and all that. Ten gauge, which is like a little over an eighth. Solid steel. That's how thick this is. So this thing is stout as fuck. I mean, that fucker ain't going anywhere. You got the... Got some D-rings here for strapping stuff down. I mean, I think the reason the guy was getting rid of it is because it is only five foot wide, so that limits what you can put in it. I mean, skid loader's 66, so the skid loader ain't going in here, so that ain't happening. But I don't want—I didn't buy—I didn't get this for skid loader transportation. If I was in the market for one that held a skid loader, I definitely wouldn't get one that was five foot wide. This is for dirt, gravel, some brush removal, and. Uh, just like dumping shit. Like, I just don't want to shovel stuff. After I had my arm surgery, I can't. My arm don't work like it used to. So, like, what do we got next here? What, what else can we talk about? <clears throat> We've got this cover. This is fucking rad. Let's see if I get this thing to balance. Please don't fall. Main shot. Yeah, so. Lift this up. It's a full tarp. Hooks into the C channels. I don't think this thing has been used. Oh, there's not a dinger in it. It's just dirty. <laughs> Look at that shit. It comes out even farther so you can put like a bunch of craziness in there. I mean, also, like I said, it's got ramps. So if you wanted to put something in here, so like want to loot like a lawnmower, ATVs, all that shit would fit in here perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, the only thing that's really interesting about it is it's the exact width as my trucks. Like, when I drive down the road, this thing is the width of the trucks. Like, you ain't got to be worried about, is that trailer hanging out? Are you going to bash something? I mean, like I said, uh, I think my truck's rated to tow just shy of 10,000 pounds. This is 7,000 pounds, so it's like, I'm good with that. I mean, just because my truck can do 10 doesn't mean I want to be out towing 10. I mean, my personal belief is 10,000 pounds is ridiculous to be towing in a half-ton truck. Like, this is rated a half-ton truck, quote-unquote. I think that's insane. 
I mean, yeah, it's quoted to do it. It's capable. It's got the brakes and everything. But I just think that's almost borderline reckless. So this is, I'm good with this. I mean, if I got to take one extra trip, I'm good. I mean, if I was in the position where I was driving 100 miles there and back, I'd probably consider a three-quarter ton truck and a bigger trailer. But I'm not doing that. Like, my gravel is literally like... I mean, the, the ready-mix place that I bought this white stone for my driveway is like a mile and a half away. I'm probably going to be doing crushed concrete for this project coming up. That's not that far away either. It's just down the road, so... This thing's stout. It's got a spot for a spare tire if you want it. The diamond plate. Fenders. LED lights in the corners. LED markers there. Uh, yeah. Gladiator tires, I guess that's a thing. Whatever, people are excited about that. Uh, it's got the LED brake light indicators. They all work good. Um, yeah. Pretty sure the ramps just snap right onto the back of that right there. That's how that works. You know, I know some of them, the ramps are underneath, but this isn't a full-size huge unit. It's only a 5x10, so. Yeah, I think it's stout as can be. Like When I called the guy up, I thought it was a cheapie. So this thing's been for sale for a while, but I think it's because of the size. I think a lot of guys want bigger ones, you know, like if I was going to do a single trailer, I'd get a bigger one too, but I got two other trailers, so I'm good. And, uh, I mean, yeah, another, like a 10,000 GVW would have been cool because that'd match my truck perfect, but that trailer, a 10,000 pound trailer is going to weigh about a thousand pounds more. So that's only a, that's only a net gain of 2000 pounds. It's an extra ton. So... Yeah, I could potentially have gotten a bigger trailer or a bigger GVW trailer and, and, and moved an extra ton when I, when I did this. But they cost more. I haven't seen any of those for sale used. You know, who's texting me? Oh, one of my subscribers is texting me. Just got out of surgery. And he's alive. Congratulations, you survived. I'm happy that you survived. Should be going home in 45 minutes. Good deal. Yeah, my subscriber was taking a selfie essentially on his bicycle the other day and fucking wrecked nuggets and broke his wrist and had to have surgery. Kind of feel bad for the guy. Don't take selfies when you ride your bicycle. The only thing that's weird is this has got a different battery. I think the guy swapped the battery out on me. I think it was supposed to have an interstate battery. So it's got an Everstar, but whatever. I don't know. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. So that's where I'm at. Uh, yeah. Not for rent, but uh, if you want to hire me, it, this trailer only hooks to that truck and I drive it. So if you want to move some shit, you just let me know. I'm good for it. You know, we'll move some stuff. I'm happy to do it. But uh, I got to pay for this fucker. So yeah, I'm in the business. Happy to let you hire me to move your shit. Anytime. You just give me a heads up and we'll, we'll get your stuff moved. Yeah, that's where I'm at, kids. Stay safe. You know what I'll be doing? Power washing the bird shit off. Kind of glad the bird shit on it, you know. You can get a discount for that sometimes.